And next up, we have Dungeon Maker um, by Nathan uh, Valerio. Yeah. Um, this is 281 pages, $3 even. It is available on Ken Limited, and here's the author's description. East Cross is not your typical neat, although he has all the makings of one and is recluse. He is very... He is still a very outdoor type of person. Uh, one day he is killed by a truck no less even after dodging off the road. His soul was going to a white light in the sky, the sun, but before he could arrive, a magical circle appears and he's pulled in and given a second chance at life in a magical world, none of the most cliche tropes of anime as a summoned hero. He isn't the hero, though, and he got the most uncommon hero class and something that has been extinct in all the nations blocking the advance of the demon lord, that is, the dungeon maker. As a very unusual class that makes not only death traps, but proper dungeons with ecosystems, this is the life of humanity's first dungeon maker in a thousand years, since the Demon Lord War began. This is not just a story of battling the Demon Lord, but also how our hero making a new life force themselves as all of them died in their original worlds. That's a one long sentence. Um, okay. This is... A fairly decent slice of life story that pokes fun at the transported to a fantasy uh, world genre or the summoned hero genre. Um, but at the same time, does a fairly entertaining job showing some of the neat aspects of this new class um, for the summoned hero. Uh, the new class, Dungeon Maker, is a dungeon master that can build and store a dungeon in a special book and upgrade it with built traps, mana producing plants, and even puppet monsters. Instead of using the dungeon to lure in adventurers, like a dungeon core or a dungeon master story, instead he uses the dungeon to lure in and kill monsters and other enemies. It's a decent enough twist that it was entertaining to see how the class progresses. Um, there are plenty of notifications, status screens, class information to satisfy most readers that like interesting little bitty builds. Uh, combat is more of a mixed bag. Uh, in, in all honesty, the first combat scene here um, was frankly tedious. Um, and that's, and that's because of the nature of how the class system works. He essentially builds a dungeon, literally with tools, or has somebody else do it. And then he, his mana goes out and absorbs it into the book. And so he can then make copies of those like different dungeon parts, like um, tunnels or, or different areas and, and, and traps and have them set in there. But he has to have them built manually first. So there's a lot of kind of tedious building there. And then he, he lays them out. Um, and then monsters in, in the first fight scene just kind of went in and died to traps. And that was very tedious because there was really no um, tension there whatsoever. But thankfully, that's the most tedious scene. From then on in for the rest of the story, um, the rest of the fight scenes like that are essentially summarized as like just the results. Um, uh, or the different results on like creating ecosystems or plants and animals or trying, you know, trying to lure in wolves or goblins or whatever. Um, so it's a much more, it's a much better described. So if you get to the first fight scene and you think it's boring, um, just skip past it generally. Like the, the rest of the story is, 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 is much better, more, more entertaining than that first sight, you know, judge the whole thing by the, the book cover or that first sight of fight scene. Um, most of the story rather focuses on, um, the class progression. And that's probably the biggest, um, thing of the story beyond besides like the the general parody for the summon the hero thing there's plenty of like little jokes about that um but the the, the other focus the thing that kind of pops out is going to be the the unique class for the dungeon maker is again it's it, it's just different enough from being a dungeon master or dungeon core that it feels a little bit different and it was kind of neat to see again how that class progressed what powers he unlocks um what kind of monsters are chosen and 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 just like the unpacking of that particular class as the story continues on it was it was it was, it was enough to keep me at as somebody who likes crunchy numbers and, and interesting class builds entertained um for most of the story um it is not like my favorite story it's, it's essentially it's a decent read um i had a good time with it um and again i liked the kind of parody humor that popped up now and again and and seeing some of the tropes from a hero story like just kind of you seen the author kind of poke fun at that particular um genre of storytelling um it was it was entertaining um it was interesting but it wasn't engaging enough that i'd read a second book though so the first book is fine again it's kind of a decent read um but it wasn't entertaining enough for me to want to pick up a second book in the series. Um, and again, it's very slice of life. So it, there really is not a, an overarching plot for this particular book. I think there might be a series plot line. Um, but the, the story really does follow the main character as he figures out his powers, makes fun of things and goes in his little adventures using his powers to, to progress in, in, in strength and powers and levels. Um, so for me, it gets a score of 7.2 out of 10. That's Dungeon Maker with a score of 7.2 out of 10. 